Sorry, son. Took you long enough. This is Mikasan. Hey, I'm Yagami. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. This is the man you served six months ago? You're certain? Yeah, that's him. We already discussed Hashki and Shono. Mikasan was at their table, without a doubt. That's Shono-san, right? Yeah. What were they like? I guess nothing stood out about them more than any other pair of businessman types. Hashki-san complained about his boss, while Shono-san just nodded and smiled. What was Hashki saying? He was going on and on about this Kido-san guy. Have you heard about that new dementia drug, 89? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of familiar. Not surprised. They used to talk about it on TV a bunch. Anyway, apparently Kido-san's kind of a big shot guy on the 89 research team. And Hashiki and Shono were talking shit about him? Yeah. Sounds like Kido-san was getting wined and dined by all sorts of people who wanted to profit off 89. From what I heard, not all those deals were above board. Secret deals, huh? Is Kido-san working with the Yakuza? Hashiki-san didn't give specifics, but he did say 89 could buy a lot of influence. And about the cut he'd be getting later. He seemed like a really shady guy, actually. Interesting. How was Shono acting that night at the club? Well, <laughs> he spent most of the night staring at my chest. Hashiki-san kept going on about Kido-san all the same, though. Maintain eye contact, Yagami-san. Shono-san seemed more interested in being a creep than indulging him, though. You don't think he was listening to Hashiki-san, then? Nope. Didn't seem like it. <laughs> Disgruntled boss on one side, closet perv on the other. Then, out of the blue, Hashiki-san said this. There's something fishy going on with 89, I just know it. Did he have any idea what it was? Um, what did he say again? Uh, something about fabrication or falsification? Data fabrication? Falsifying the effects of the drug? Yeah, that was it. He kept going on about how 89 was too good to be true. And how weird it is that it just came out of nowhere. So he brought Shono to the club to try and figure out if 89 was real. Right. What did Shono say? Just, there's nothing fishy about it. But then Hashiki-san yelled back, I don't believe that for a second. It was kind of awkward seeing how desperate he was. Makes sense he'd be desperate, though. Why? He promised this guy Kajihira he'd shut down the ADDC. Hmm. I gotta say, you remember a lot for a conversation that happened six months ago. Can you blame me? The poor man got beaten to death right afterward. I replay this a lot. Right. Sorry. And at that point, I already knew about 89. See, my grandma has pretty bad Alzheimer's, so I was hoping they'd release it to the public soon. I'm sure that made the conversation stick out to you. Yeah, when I heard Kido-san was just another slime ball, I don't know, kind of broke my heart. <sighs> Tragic. Did you ever hear Hashiki mention a Kachihira? Kachihira? It's a big construction company based out of Kansai. Basically, Hashiki was working for this Kajihira, trying to shut down the ADDC. Wait, I thought Hashiki-san was super important, like vice director or something. He was. Kajihira's money was too much for him to refuse, though. Hmm. Either way, I, I don't remember hearing them talk about a Kajihira. Thanks for this, Mika-chan. You must be exhausted. That's all of it? 
Yeah, you helped us more than you know. Be safe on your way back. Thank you. Uh, what time's your shift start tomorrow, Sari-san? Sorry, I'm not coming back tomorrow. Huh? It was a one-night thing. I got to see a side of myself I didn't know I had, though. Man, this stinks. You're so pretty, Sari-san, and I was pumped to learn more from you. I don't think I have much left to teach. I might be able to help you, though, as a friend. You're a lawyer? Let me know if you ever get into trouble. Wow, I've never been friends with a lawyer before. This is, like, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye now! That was amazing, Sari-san. You really pulled through for us. It's fine. Come on, I'll walk you back to the office. I want to review what we learned with Hoshinokun and the others. Sure. Really, guys? Yeah! 
last way. <laughs> Welcome back. You're so beautiful, Sarisan. Like a puppy. You should dress like that all the time, Saurikun. Yeah, good luck finding clients. I'm changing. There's a good chance Hashki's murder was premeditated. Just like Chairman Kajihira suspected. That's the conclusion you and Saurikun reached? Yeah. Hashki thought something was up with 89. Doubted the authenticity of the research. Seemed convinced they had fabricated data. He was desperately searching for proof before he died. But was there anything actually wrong with it? I tried analyzing the paper myself to find out, but it's like it was written in a different language. I'm searching for someone more knowledgeable as we speak. But nobody seems to suspect any foul play, not even online. Yet Hashki was still searching for issues, and if he had managed to find one... The ADDC would be long gone by now. Then they murdered Hashki to keep the secret safe? Don't be ridiculous. Who would kill a man just to protect a research paper? It might not be as unlikely as you think. The ADDC has been bringing in billions of government yen ever since they published that paper. With that much cash involved, bumping someone off wouldn't be out of the question. The question is, who killed Hashki? A professional assassin, if I had to guess. The man in the black raincoat. If he... Yeah. Someone who wanted to protect E. But who? Can't begin to imagine. But apparently Kido was out hyping up 89, raking in tons of dirty money in the process. Guy might even be involved with the Yakuza. You're really suspicious of him, Yagami-san. Well, if it looks like a rat... Maybe Shintani got too close to the truth. And Kido... The thought has crossed my mind. Don't think we can say that for sure without looking more into Kido. But judging from our last visit, that won't be as easy as you make it sound. He's practically a celebrity at this Well, maybe if we can't get him to talk. Pro huh? What do you mean? I've got a meeting with Izumita tomorrow. They're calling me in. Isn't that the prosecutor who was trying to get you arrested? He can try all he wants. That's what this meeting's about. No chance in hell he agrees to help us then. All depends on how this little chat goes. If I can convince him I'm innocent. I'll clear my name and put the squeeze on Kido all in one fell swoop. What are you planning, Yagami-san? You can talk to Izumita tomorrow, but you better not get arrested over there. Promise me. Don't know if I... This case is just about reaching its tipping point. I'd be out there too if my... Yo, everything's... Guess it's good we let Sauri saw. I feel like we did good work today. Go home and relax, Yagami-san. You have a big day tomorrow.
if I should be saying this, but it's been a while since I've felt this a lot. This case is just about reaching its tipping point. I'd be out there. You can talk, promise me. You can talk to Izumita tomorrow, promise me.
Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Yagmi-san. I'm not gonna hold back. Doing so hot. Yosa! Yes! Maybe next time. Okay. Oh well. My turn then. Why? 
Oh! 